Hey and welcome back to another episode of Sekiro and we are gonna head on over to ring the bell yep so we're in the Congo and we're gonna make our way to the bell and what that's gonna do is increase the difficulty but it's also going to well apart from making the enemies tougher not like they're already tough as they are but um the drop rate chance is uh, going to increase so we're going to make our way over here now so we're going to jump over to this branch so yeah we're going to farm for divine confetti ringing that bell which will hopefully help with the drop rate now if you want read the description if you want to skip to certain points of the video um, this first half is just showing you where to find the bell and the best way to jump over a certain ledge that um, a lot of people have trouble grabbing onto and then the next half will be the farming okay so these little enemies here can all be stealth again okay, stealth and we're going to use our next grappling hook to jump back across and take out the next little dude right about there and take him out okay now we're going to want to go up on this branch here so grab onto the ledge and target lock this guy and do a death blow on him like i said read the description this skip the video to certain points okay so that's it for those guys we're gonna head on over here now this bit's a bit tricky a lot of people jump right across and even though they're touching it they can't latch on to the little edge there so basically you want to stand over to the left more okay not right up to the front edge just over to the left here and uh, that'll actually make it uh, easier to grab onto the uh, ledge so yeah so don't go straight from the front stand over to the left and yeah a bit further actually maybe this point yeah right over this point just jump grappling hook turn to the facing it and you can just grab it a lot easier because um it's very hard to grab onto if you're doing it from the very front edge tip so just go over to the left more like i was before anyway head on over this way a bit more and we'll see some more grappling points and uh, this one you'll grapple up and grab onto this bit here and we'll just make our way around here around the corner and jump on up to the next ledge and jump jump grab and run on up this way here now there's some uh, poison lizards here this is where they are we we'll just chop them up yeah, one down you can actually hear them but um yeah, you want to be careful because they um they can poison you there's another one here and that purple gouge gets to the top you'll be poisoned almost got me there with the poison all right so great view but we're here to ring a bell all right so we'll just uh you gotta jump all the way up here just keep jumping jump 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 and we're going to head on over to a little structure over here okay so you can either run up or grapple hook your way up just like to look around sometimes to see if there's any little secret nooks and crannies or in my other view okay so let's head on into this structure here so we'll grapple onto this and up into here you can hear something in there yeah sounds very inviting doesn't it this way's a dead end so we're going to go into this building where we can hear that slurp and groan some sort of freakish centipede dude but it's quite easy to kill he's done all right in that other room there is a secret passage that leads to the you can see it there hug in the wall it'll lead to the back way to the first headless boss they come across but we're going to ring this bell okay so if they're going to put a sign here saying do not ring the bell well what does one do we're going to ring the bell bang a 
All right, so there we have it. The bell has been struck. The difficulty mode has been engaged. Yes, the burden. But you do get an item that'll pop up soon, Bell Demon, which you can use to reverse that. So you can reverse that effect at any time, so you can relax. All right, so like I said, if it wasn't hard before, it just got harder. So now we're gonna head on over to Ashina Castle and we're going to head on into the room with the samurais and we're going to uh, it's the upper tower where we want to go and now the process begins the rinse and repeat farming that's right we're going to farm for divine confetti now the good thing about not having to worry about increasing the difficulty by ringing that bell is with a lot of the kills you do here is going to be stealthy death blows so you won't have to engage in battle at all with that new difficulty setting. Okay, another guy down. And we're gonna try and farm for some divine confetti. Oh, sweet little old lady. Take that! Okay. And there's a guy that walks into the room here, as you know, if you've been here before. Staring out the window, and that's what happens when you daydream. You're down. Now there's two guys sitting over here. There we go, Divine Confetti. So we've got our first Divine Confetti. Now take this guy here, the Samurai, because he's the toughest. And you don't have to worry about fighting the other guy. We're just going to run straight back and reset the whole area. So there we have a Divine Confetti farming. We're going to rest up here. Rinse and repeat. If you don't want to watch the rest of the video, I basically get it another time, twice. So it wasn't too bad at all. So here we go, sneak on on up. In the back. And let's go get his friends. So pellets we got that time. Here's another samurai. Sorry buddy, but I need a divine confetti. This one's giving me more pellets. Wait for this little old lady to walk past. And more death blower. All right, and the guy's daydreaming out the window here. You have to try and keep to the right when they're sneaking up to this guy because those guys may spot you because I've accidentally destroyed the wall there. Charge on in, we've got scrap iron on that other guy. Take this samurai guy out, the harder one. And we didn't get anything that time, so we'll run on back and reset. Okay, rest up. We're gonna rinse and repeat. So, as you can see, you'll be getting more experience as well. I got the A1942. Let's see what it goes up to taking out these guys here. So, deja vu, rinse and repeat in the back, stealth blows, some more pellets, and we're going to take this one here out, same step, sneak on up, in the back, and little old lady, sneak on up. Now, as you know, these ladies will ring the bell and let everyone see your presence, so important you take them out and again guy daydreaming keep to the right sort of don't knock anything over in the back and what's he gonna give us more pellets all right let's run up kill this guy here untarget lock and jump back because that second guy might whack you if you're too slow all right and let's rest up again and reset. Okay, let's relive the fun. Reset and let's do it again. Now, even though this is only about a 10 minute video, I think all up in about 50 minute period, I managed to get three Divine Confettis, capturing two in this video that you're watching now. 
So it's not too bad of a run. I'm not sure how you go without ringing that bell, but I mean, it could vary. Oops, I just knocked that over. Made a little noise there. Don't worry, little old lady can't hear a thing. But um, I, I don't know how much of a difference you'll get by not ringing the bell, but at least you'll be getting more experience from the enemies that have been enhanced. Again, keep the right a bit, stab this guy in the back, and out of those two samurais over in the next room here, you want to take out the one with the short skirt bearing his legs, because they seem to be a lot harder than the long skirt samurais. So this one here, we've got some divine confetti. So there you go. So like I said, out of about a 15, 50 minute period of this zone, I managed to get about three capturing two in this video that you can see so i hope it well works well for you and um, at least you get a lot of experience from it and money so yeah uh thanks for watching and uh yeah maybe i'll see you in the comments